Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving. Today is not such a good day because, uh, well, last night I tried to start my truck and it's been parked here for quite a while. It just wouldn't start. So what I did was I took the battery out and I charged it up. And now we're going to check to see if the battery will still work. Well, because of the MCO, we have not been using this truck very much. So over the past three months, it has maybe run only once or twice. And because of that, the battery has deteriorated. At the same time, the truck is in its fourth year. And I figure it's about time the battery is due to be replaced. To check your battery condition, you need a battery load tester like this one. You can buy this online. I can't remember how much, but I bought this one five to six years ago and it has worked for me fine. So the battery condition is read through the gauge that is that you see in front. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Over here, we have the battery that's from the truck. And uh, what I did was I put it on the charger uh, last night. I charged it for about three to four hours. And uh, this is the charger I bought online. It works fine. And uh, so this morning I charged it for another about half an hour. And uh, I wanted to put it on the truck. But before I put it on the truck, I have to use this one. This is a battery load tester and you can see here this is the reading and you want to try to get this needle over to here if possible and uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check the condition of the battery. So it's been charged and all it's waiting for is to be tested and here we go. So first things first, we need to hook up this load tester and this is the positive terminal of the battery. This is the negative terminal. You can see the plus here. There's a plus sign. So you take the red one, which is the positive part of the tester and clip it to the positive terminal of the battery. Then you clip the... Okay, the reading is this way. Then you clip the negative part of the load tester onto the minus sign on the battery so here you see the battery condition I'm going to unplug it when you unplug it the needle goes down and uh, so I'm going to plug it and you will see the needle goes up it shows the voltage of the battery so the voltage now is about 12 just about 12 volts you can see here in the green and uh, so that indicates the battery is got about 12 volts but that does not mean the battery is good because uh, I actually put it on the truck after charging the battery once and then uh, it started but the next day it wouldn't start again so I did it again just to double check and now we're going to do a load test the load is like when you press the starter there will be a load on the battery and then it will the needle will go down how much it goes down indicates the condition of the battery now this is the load tester and by pressing this switch uh, you just press and hold for a few seconds because this thing gets very hot okay i'm going to press and you look at the reading here look at look at the reading as i press the button oops it's down it says it's already in the red here and that says bad okay, here in the red part says bad the yellow one says weak and the green says okay so under load this is the area you look the needle should be in the green area and here i press 
it's down past the yellow into the red so this battery is in bad condition and therefore I need to change yeah okay so now you see the voltage should drop to about 10 point something volts not even 11 volts and I'm going to do another load test now remember you cannot press for too long yeah because this thing gets very hot down too weak so that means the battery needs to be replaced what you want it to do is when it when you load it it should stay in the green yeah see it's down all right guys that's how you check your battery and you can buy this online it's quite cheap i bought this about maybe six to seven years ago and it has served me very well it's good to be able to check your own battery